With all the hype surrounding the Bengals going back into the Super Bowl, I was thinking about getting back into this Madden again. I used to play it, but it's just I'm kind of tired of how much disrespect they were showing our Bengals. But, you know, with the Bengals going to the Super Bowl now, maybe it's possible that I could be the guy that has the OP team and used to use them all the time. So I wanted to check in and see what our friends at EA have done for us. So let's take a look. Right away, I've already seen that the Bengals, they, they got them at a 79, which, you know, it sounds kind of bad, but it it depends on how you know, it depends on everybody else is. So let's let's take a look and compare them to some of the other teams in the NFL, which we can compare them to. All right, showing the Colts to lead off, and uh, the Colts are three points higher than the Bengals, and they didn't even make the playoffs. Here goes the Chargers, didn't even make the playoffs, rated right five whole points higher than the Bengals. Next up, Minnesota Vikings, who the Bengals beat. Rated higher than the Bengals. On to the Patriots. Lost in the first round of the playoffs. Rated an 85 overall. And they have a rookie quarterback. Tennessee Titans. I mean, the Bengals just went to Nashville and thumped them in Tennessee. Rated higher than the Bengals. The Saints, a team, again, didn't even make the playoffs. Rated higher than the Bengals. And this one is particular interest to me because the Cowboys, most people, if I bring up this to people, they'll be like, well, the Bengals, they, you know, it takes time to get the rating up. They've only been, you know, it's just one year. Okay, well, the Dallas Cowboys stank last year. Okay, they weren't no good. So you tell me why they're rated significantly higher than the Bengals. Ten whole points. Here goes the Steelers. They are rated one point lower than the Bengals. But I brought this up because, I mean, we played them twice, and the Bengals blew them out twice. There should be a bigger gap there. The Ravens, once again, another team the Bengals beat twice. Rated higher than the Bengals. Five points. Blew them out. The Raiders, another team. Here we go. It's a trend, right? The Bengals beat twice. Rated higher than the Bengals. And of course, last but not least, Kansas City Chiefs, who again the Bengals beat twice. Rated significantly higher than the Bengals. <laughs> All right, all right, this is a bit silly. Here we are. The whole regular season is behind us. The playoffs are, you know, over with. We know who the two representatives of each conference are. We know who the two best teams in the NFL are. And they're set to meet in Super Bowl next Sunday. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out here what could they be doing wrong. So I'm a, let's pop open the hood now and see where they could be making these mistakes. So Joe Mixon, okay. Jesse Bates, 91, okay. Joe Burrow, uh, pretty underrated. Uh, DJ Ritter, about all right. Chase, pretty underrated. And here we go. Trey Hendrickson, uh, this guy should be in the mid-90s. They got him at 84. Well, I don't know what they're thinking. Chidobe Ouzie, high 80s at least. Tyler Boyd, 83. You know, he's a slot receiver. They're not going to give him that much. Logan Wilson, uh, that's about right in my mind. Mike Hilton, that's actually high for a slot receiver, so I'm not going to complain about that. The rest of these guys seem like they're close to being where they should be. T. Higgins about 81. Von Bell, 80. I'll take that. C.J. Uzama, underrated. Jonah Williams, slightly, just a bit underrated, I'd say. Once we go down the list, I mean, there's not... Too many more you can argue with upon what we've already seen, but I know that, you know, this one right here, yeah, this guy coming up. Larry Ogunjobi, this guy's vastly underrated. I mean, that's, that's pretty criminal right there. And the offensive line, I'm not even going to go down further than them because those guys do stink, and uh, I can't really argue with that at all. But the rest of these guys that I've already called out and mentioned, I, I got no clue what they're thinking when it comes to providing us with these ratings. Okay, so, so the regular season and the playoffs, like I said before, it's it's over. We know who the two best teams in the NFL are. And on top of that, there, there's really no excuse for this because they provide ratings updates for teams and players every Thursday. Every single Thursday, every week of the season. So how did we get to this? Who's responsible? Well, uh, I looked that up. I used to know it was, but it wasn't him anymore. And the person that it is... I will just say it's, it's, it's a bit disappointing. Here you are. Tell me, you're, you're doing this today? No. I am the Madden Brady Adjuster from now on. Period. Right? So players always have an issue with their rating. You know, 
always screaming about the people doing the ratings and them not being knowledgeable or knowing about the game. Now you have a player who played at a high level, and if you're not happy with your ratings, I will show you why using video reference as to why you're a Canadian. Excuse my language. Thank you. Damn, Chad. How could you do us like that? But okay, I'm going to have to call you out and say, child, please, on that one. Show us how using video reference, as you say, is going to trump the video reference that we are all going to be seeing next Sunday when the Bengals are going to be one of two teams playing in the Super Bowl, Chad. As you trying to convince the world that there's like 20 other teams in the NFL better than the Bengals is, is putting a, a square peg in a round hole of the realm of sense and is exposing you for being a large market shill. And that's the absolute last thing we need from somebody we believe is supposed to be on our side. Well, because you're in control of the ratings and from what I can see, I mean, there's obviously no point in asking you who you think is going to uh, win the Super Bowl. <sighs> Whatever though, I guess I'm done. To hell with EA, to hell with you Chad. Not buying this game no more. I'm not about to help out EA's coin situation. I'm done with this game. So Bengals fans, who they, and I'll be seeing you at that parade in here in a week and a half.